Welcome to Automotive One, you automotive channel number one. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. As the Land Rover's chain shrouded tires discharge the smash of cool metal holding freezing snow, effortlessly pulling us through the flawless forests of southwest Quebec, it turned out to be rapidly certain that the Land Rover experience doesn't just convey fundamental rough terrain information to its customers, yet in addition the opportunity to take in the excite and flexibility that originates from wandering into the obscure with just a vehicle to trust. That is the thing that Land Rovers were initially proposed for, even the name signifies a vehicle that is implied for investigating the world. But then, a large number of these vehicles, read, by far most, will never leave the asphalt, utilized for the most part to radiate a feeling of ability without it consistently being worked out. That is the place the Land Rover Experience Center comes in. The program sets aside the opportunity to demonstrate proprietors precisely what their vehicles are prepared to do paying little mind to your level of exiting rough terrain ability. Anybody willing to pay can take in the experience, yet in particular, each and every Land Rover purchaser in Canada and the US gets a complimentary three-hour course at their closest Land Rover Experience Center. What's more, regardless of where you are on the planet, an Experience Center isn't too far. Land Rover Experience Centers are spotted over the globe, much like hints of the British realm itself, giving proprietors and fans the opportunity to get in the driver's seat of the brand's most recent items in a rough terrain condition with a prepared educator in the traveler situate. Finland, China, the US, Russia, and South Africa are only a portion of the nations that offer Land Rover Experience Centers, and Canada joins the regarded list with one focus, situated at the rich fair Monchateau Montebello, where we had the opportunity to take in the program. Montebello is celebrated for being the biggest log lodge on the planet, worked in the 1930s as a private club for the world's rich and tip-top. About a century later, anybody willing to pay for a night at the inn can be enchanted by the monstrous hearth in the hall or the little, provincial rooms. A not insignificant rundown of open-air exercises is additionally a staple of Montebello, which urges its visitors to get outside and attempt new things. As our experience advanced and I turned out to be completely alright with the discovery, I began to look past the dashboard and started to see a similar thing that the rich agents who constructed the club at Montebello did about this local route back in the 1930s, how untainted and tranquil it is. Thick spruce woodlands blended with exposed maple tree forests offer a stark juxtaposition to each other in the winter, while the development of chipmunks and squirrels through the branches shakes a light sprinkle of snow to the ground. This piece of the experience is special in every nation, except there is a typical component to each program, paying little respect to the area. These rough terrain lessons set anyone up to end up alright with off-asphalt driving, enabling them to pressure less about the vehicle enduring and letting them really absorb what's around them, regardless of whether it be the monstrous sand ridges of Africa, the sub-zero north of Finland, or the pleasant solidified Ottawa waterway.